Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my Toy Story 4 trailer reaction. Myself, like many of you, have grown with these stories, so I'm really excited. And it really makes me happy that as an adult, I still continue to enjoy these stories because I love Disney so much. I love Toy Story. My favorite being Rex. I really want to see him. I'm expecting to see Bo Peep a lot more since we only got a tease of her last time. So let's see what this story is about. Everyone, Bonnie made a friend in class. What? Oh, I'm she's already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. <laughs> I want you to meet Forky. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah. <gasps> He's a spool. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> Forky is the most important toy to Bonnie right now. We all have to make sure nothing happens to him. Woody, we have a situation. I'm so excited that we get to know the story. Soup, salad, maybe chili, and then the trash. Buzz, we've got to get Forky. <laughs> Why am I alive? You're Bonnie's toy. You are going to help create happy memories that will last for the rest of her life. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. He's not smart. Bo? Forky, come on. Bo? Bo? Hi there. My name is Gabby Gabby. We can't stay. <laughs> yes, you can. Boys. <laughs> What She's are you back. doing here? No time to explain. Come with me. We need to get back to our kid. Aw, Sheriff Woody, always coming to the rescue. Bonnie needs Forky. Woody, who needs a kid's room when you can have all of this? Wow. Woody, aren't we going to Bonnie? We have hmm. to find them. What do we do, Buzz? What would Woody do? Jump out of a moving vehicle. Let's go. Oh. Hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. If you should ever leave me. You know, You've handled this lost toy life better than I could. Open your eyes, Woody. There's plenty of kids out there. Sometimes change can be good. You can't teach this old toy new tricks. You'd be surprised. Bonnie? We're going home, Forky. So different ideas. On my way, Woody. Kids lose their toys every day. I was made to help a child. I don't remember it being this hard. Woody, somebody's whispering in your ear. Everything's gonna be okay. That was so different from what I expected this to be. I thought it was gonna be a little more funny. It has a lot of dark moments. Bo Peep's ideology is a little similar to Stinky Pete's where she wants to be free, she wants to be in the open, she doesn't want to be held back in a room. While Woody, still by his experience with Andy and Bonnie, they have this family that they cherish and that they want to be together, you know, with this kid that they love. So it's going to be interesting to see these two ideologies, you know, going back and forward and to see where the toys stand in the end. Surprisingly, we do not see much of the original crew, just a few shots here and there, which I was expecting to see more of. So this really focuses on Woody and since he is the original toy, it's going to be emotional to see what's going on with him. I'm curious to know more about this Spork character. I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, I created a lot of stuff like little figures with stickers and glitter and all that stuff. So it's fun to see those creations coming to life and interacting with toys that are made at the store <laughs> because they're totally different. I also want to see Bonnie and Andy's toys together as a family and see how they are, you know, bonding because I really love both and I really think that Bonnie is the perfect kid to take care of him. I'm not so sure about that song they chose for the trailer. They put you in the mood, they get you excited, but this felt a little off. Are you guys excited for Toy Story 4? Let me know in the comments what you thought about this trailer. Did you like it? Are you more on the, eh, we didn't need this movie? If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Here's my social media and I will see you soon. Está muy interesante porque el trailer fue completamente diferente a lo que me esperaba. Me esperaba algo más divertido, con poquito más de humor. Sorprendentemente no usaron muchos chistes. Vemos que Woody se pierde una vez más con este personaje que es un tenedor cuchara. Spork, no sé cómo se dice en español. Que este juguete creado por Bonnie es muy especial para ella. Se van a esta aventura y se encuentran a Bo Peep. Bo Peep tiene una ideología muy parecida a la de Stinky Pete en la 2. Cuando dicen que son juguetes para todos los niños, que por qué quieren ser parte de un solo niño si hay miles de niños afuera que pueden disfrutarlos. Ahí vi una similitud con la número 2. Al contrario, Woody, gracias a su experiencia con Bonnie y Andy, tiene esta idea de pertenecer a un niño, de amar a tu dueño y de ser una familia. Entonces va a ser interesante ver estos dos cambios, tratar de convencer el uno al otro de cambiar 
su ideología. Casi no vemos al grupo original de juguetes. Yo estoy esperando ver a Rex porque es mi favorito. Pero me imagino que si van a salir solo nos quieren dar la importancia que tiene Bo Peep y el tenedor cuchara. Algunos juguetes ahí medio misteriosos, macabros y que dan miedo. Algo van a hacer ahí, se ven como que malos. Algo que no me encantó fue la canción. Siempre hablo de las canciones en los trailers y la verdad no me provocó nada. Se me hizo una canción X. Me han puesto otra canción. Como que no sé, no iba con las imágenes que estábamos viendo. Pero estoy emocionada por ver qué onda con esta historia, qué pasa con nuestros juguetes favoritos. He crecido con Toy Story y ha sido parte de mi infancia y ahora que soy adulta estoy muy feliz de seguir viendo estas historias y seguir disfrutando de estos personajes. Parece que esta ahora sí es la última, entonces vamos a llorar. ¿Qué pensaron del trailer de Toy Story 4? ¿Están emocionados? ¿Qué es lo que más les gustó? ¿Qué es lo que más les emociona? Díganme en los comentarios si les gusta o si están como que eh, no necesitaba la verdad una película 4. Si te gustó este video dale like, aquí están mis otras redes sociales y nos vemos pronto.